Judson Church movement, Yvonne Rayner, like Cunningham, really worked to make movement as something of an object to be examined without psychological or social motives. And they opted for neutrality in the dance. And Yvonne Rayner herself famously wrote in 1964 the No Manifesto. Bits of it are no to spectacle, no to virtuosity, no to transformations, no to make believe, no to glamour, no to moving or being moved, etc. So this was kind of the world that I grew up in in the 70s. And it was, I felt it was very cold and very puritanical and very self-righteous. And there was no place for eroticism. Uh, and I, I just felt like it was, a, it was poor and that we had won our liberation in dance and that we could combine the poetry, refinement, virtuosity of ballet with the intellectual curiosity and democratic intentions of modern dance. And then, since it was the 70s, why not some punk rawness to just give it some extra attention? And so this is what I did, very controversial, but it led to me being called the punk ballerina. And uh, there I am. Um, so I haven't really talked a lot about mod, you know, the difference between ballet and modern dance, even though you know, there's some differences. But I, for me, they're fundamentally the same thing in that they are both you, using philosoph expressing philosophical questions, using forms of organization on the stage in order to make meaning through time and space. So you know, they're more, they, they are actually engaged in the exact same same thing. But I think one of the issues is people don't really see ballet. They think of it as a style or an aesthetic. They think of it as Giselle or Swan Lake. But to me, ballet is actually a science of motion and a very brilliant science that really shows you, gives you the tools to use your body, to control your body, to have freedom to do what you want. Mm -hmm.